of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is the first week. It is the first week after the resurrection and the, on the eighth day after resurrection our Lord Jesus Christ appeared to the disciples in the upper room. He appeared to the disciples in the upper room first time last Sunday. Yeah? And today he appeared to them again. When he appeared to them last week, Thomas was not with them. But when he appeared to them today, Thomas was with them. And if the Lord wanted to appear to Thomas specifically, because Thomas did not believe that the Lord has been risen, doubts. And that is why they call him Doubting Thomas, Doubting Thomas. And when the Lord appeared to them on that day, he straight away looked at Thomas and said to him, Come, put your fingers in my wounds, in my side and believe and don't be unbeliever. <coughs> I don't think Thomas did actually put his fingers in his wounds. That is why this picture is not really true. Well, uh, this one nothing have told us that Thomas really dared to put his fingers in the wounds of the Lord. It was enough to hear his voice. It was enough to see him. And that is why the Bible tells us he screamed. Once the Lord said so, he screamed and said, my Lord and my God. And that was a wonderful confession, a wonderful faith. But I want you to notice that though Thomas was really not believing and doubting, the Lord didn't ignore him and didn't blame him much. So how do you treat doubts? How do you treat doubts? With more love, with more help. The one who doubts needs help. And if you criticize him more, he will doubt, he will doubt much more. But if you try to help him with love, probably his doubts will disappear. Of course, doubt is natural feeling we all have. I mean, if you are crossing the road, you look right and left. Otherwise, while you are crossing the road, you might have an accident. So, doubts 
or precaution is healthy thing. All the research we have, it doubts some results and you work on it to get facts and facts would vanish the doubts. But when doubts go beyond the natural precaution and makes you to worry unnecessarily and makes you not to believe anyone then it becomes pathological it becomes as a disease it becomes a problem I want you to go with me about why people do doubt, especially in God. The first thing, our logic sometimes can't go with faith. Like what? Like, for example, God goes to Abraham. When Abraham was about what? About maybe 90 years. And tells him, Sarah was nearly 80 years. But then the Lord says to Abraham, next year I will come and you will have a child. It doesn't make what sense. That is why Sarah did what? Laughed. Sarah laughed. And even the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Then she said, I didn't. So the Lord said to her, you did. Because logically it can't be. But faith is above logic. Faith is above logic. Another example, the timing. The timing. For example, yes, Martha and Mary sent to the Lord saying, Lazarus is sick. Come, come quickly. And the Lord being what? Late. Lazarus is very sick and the Lord didn't come and the Lord is more and more late Lazarus died and the Lord is still late they will take him to the tomb and the Lord didn't come they carried him already Lord where are you? Before he goes, the Lord is not there. Then they took him to the tomb, put him in the tomb, closed the tomb, put a big stone there, and they all came back to their home. They kept saying, if he would have here, he wouldn't have died. And when even they met the Lord, they told him the same. If he would have been here, he wouldn't have died. But then the Lord said to Martha, But don't worry. 
قال له how can I don't worry he is dead قال لها your brother will be risen قالت له yeah I know he will be risen in the last day isn't it لها مرتا I am the life and death your brother will be risen And she didn't believe too. Why? Because the Lord was what? Late. Timing. The Lord hasn't got time. The Lord is out of the time. And the Lord can really do things according to his wisdom. which is different than our wisdom. Yeah? Though he was late for four days, but faith saying what? He will be risen. And the Lord went in front of the tomb of Lazarus and said, Lazarus, come forth he came forth he was risen faith is above time is out of the time yeah third the problem of doubt is suffering why should i suffer if god loves me would he leave me to suffer If God loves us, would he leave big nations kedda to be hungry or leave wars to be done? He doesn't love us. Job, Job stayed seven years. Seven years. It was a challenge between Satan and the God. Satan is saying to God, Would you worship you free? It's because all what you have given him. Take it from him, he will blaspheme against you in your face. Allah take it. He took all his livestock. And yet, Job said, the Lord has given me, the Lord has taken it, let his name be glorified. And Satan couldn't stand it. He said, but, but it's not only the livestock he has, you gave him so many children and you gave him wives and children for their families take them all from him he will blaspheme against you he said take it take them and satan really gathered them in a house and wrecked the house and all of them died what job did say the lord has given me the lord have taken them Let his name be glorified. Even that Job, yes. And even Satan didn't leave Job. He went to the Lord and said to him, uh, One thing left. You give him health. Take his health from him. He will blaspheme against you in your face. He said, take it. And Job became so ill, so ill. Who doubted his wife? His wife. His wife doubted very much. She said, curse, curse your God and die. 
يعني she didn't want to curse God by herself a little what God has done to you deserve to curse him curse him curse him and die I don't want even you she doubted very much and what Job did say you speak like an ignorant woman do we accept the good and not the evil it wasn't really evil yeah. so suffering one of the worst things to make us to doubt but God made Job to have twice as he had Arfin Joseph the righteous yes God allowed his brothers his own brothers to throw him in the world to die and then to take him to sell him to the Ishmaelites and goes from the Ishmaelites to serve as a servant in Egypt and even his master the lady lusted him and wanted to be with him and sin with him and he refused because of God he said to her how can I do this great evil and I sinned before the Lord so his face was great and what this woman did to him she actually put him in prison and he stayed in prison years years did Joseph doubt God's plan? <coughs> yes, he came to a weakness point. He had a butler with him in prison. And this butler asked him what would happen to him so he had a dream and told the butler you, you will be released and when the butler was coming out from the prison he told him don't forget me when you see the face of the king tell the king about me most of the father says that Joseph been weakened a little bit at that time after years of suffering and you know what the butler did do he forgot about him for two and a half more years and when God wanted to release Joseph he made Pharaoh to have a dream and put in his mind to ask all his magicians not to know the explanation of the dream but to know what was the dream and its explanation you know why because he wanted to get Joseph out from the prison but in his time not in our time not in Joseph's time and it happened that when the butler heard that he remembered Joseph and the Pharaoh said the magician who wouldn't tell me is a liar I will kill him then Joseph was put under the test he prayed to the Lord and said to him I don't know the dream 
I don't know the explanation. Would you tell me, Lord? Can you imagine, after all these years, that Joseph was really still believing in his God? And then God told him the dream and told him the explanation. And because of that, he became the second man on whole Egypt. And he saved his family from the famine. And his brothers who, who wanted to get rid of him. Suffering, suffering one of the main obstacles to make us to doubt. Another one which is trusting the others. Trusting the others. Like Adam and Eve when they trusted the serpent more than God. And when you trust anybody more than God, you get into trouble. Then doubts will overcome you. When doubts become uh, more and more, it can be a sort of paranoia. Paranoia yani means you imagine things are not true. How can we overcome our doubts? The first thing about doubts if you doubt it, if you doubt something, doubt your doubts. Doubt your doubts. Yani say, I might not know the whole truth. Say, I might not have understood perfectly. Doubt your doubts. Yeah? Why do you trust your doubts more than the truth or more than God's promises or God's commandments? Doubt your doubts. Yani Satan put doubts in Eve and Adam. If they would have asked, they would have overcome their doubts. They would have known the truth. Don't be, don't think about the doubts thoughts too much. Don't be preoccupied by it because you will be prisoned in it and you would not be able to get out of it get out of it stop thinking about it stop <coughs> dwelling on it change change the thoughts with positive and constructive thoughts then the most important thing is to go to the Lord to ask for help ask for help ask for help from the Lord even sometimes when you can't control it you probably need some medication but ask for help don't leave yourself to be killed by your doubts <coughs> and if you ask the Lord the Lord will help you and will rescue you in the situation of Thomas yes
Thomas was very clear, transparent, and this was a very, very important thing about him. He was clear, transparent, said to the disciples, I don't believe, and said to the disciples, unless I put my hand in his wounds, I would not believe it. And the Lord accepted it, accept his honesty, accepted accepted his request, accepted his weakness. The Lord can rescue you, you, can rescue you, your doubts, can reveal himself to you, can vanish your doubts with the truth. May our Lord Jesus Christ give us all to believe. Treatment of doubts is faith. As simple as that. And faith is not something you can have by yourself. Faith is a free gift from God. You have to ask for it. And God will give it to you as a grace from him. May our Lord give us all faith to overcome our doubts whether we have problem with times or problem with logic or problems with suffering or problems with trusting the others and led by the others may the Lord give us all faith above everything to trust him and to believe in him and to enjoy and rejoice his resurrection. Glory to God forever.